Welcome back to the Dan Cave, and we're going to be looking at our master class character breakdowns, and we're starting with Ariel on this one. So make sure below to leave a comment on what character you want to see next as we go through and break down every character in Mirrorverse. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you can find out how to win one of these awesome Disney Mirrorverse Jack Sparrow figures. But with that, let's just jump into it. All right, guys, so welcome to the first character breakdown, and we're going to kind of keep this same format for all character breakdowns that we do in the future. We're going to look at a couple different categories. We're going to be looking at the class, the abilities, the talents, gameplay, and actual best teams to use with these characters so you guys know who to farm or at least who to put together to get you further in the game. All right, so for this one, we're looking at Ariel, and we're going to start with her class. Now for Ariel's class, she is melee. And for each of these characters, when we do this, we're gonna talk about what that really means with their class and what they're doing. And so melee, it's pretty self-explanatory, but Ariel is one to be up in front, attacking all those characters, taking all the damage, and just really helping you push through. So after class, we're gonna be looking at her abilities. So when we look at her abilities, she has three abilities and every character is going to have three abilities. And when it comes to abilities, these level up every time you open up one of those four star or five star shards to get those signets to dump back in here. And with all these abilities, we're going to look at them in the gameplay a little bit later, but I want to talk to them just a little bit. So first we have resilient waves. So every two seconds, Ariel is going to have 35% chance to cleanse. And every time she cleanses, she's going to start to get her attack buff. So you can see right here, every time she cleanses one of those damage debuffs, she's going to get 12% attack buff. And that stacks up to 10 times. So a lot of damage over time if you have a lot of cleansing and healing. And this will also work when you're cleansing and healing from the rest of your team, which is going to make sense when we get to our team section of this video as well. All right, so next up. We've got our second skill. So Ariel is going to deal a ton of damage with this. And this skill is a swipe. So it pretty much takes down 180 degrees in front of her. It's going to be doing 600% damage and knock back all the enemies that it's, she sweeps in front of her. So this is the main skill you're going to be using outside of her basic. And it's really to stun, knock the characters off their feet and really get in front of that attack to keep doing a lot of damage. This is also going to cleanse all the debuffs, give an attack buff um, from her core ability that we just saw and we're just going to continue to stack this damage and just increase increase over time so every time this ability is up you're going to want to use it but the key here is trying to get two or three people in that lane of attack so that you can hit them all and not just one-on-one -on -one attacks so from there, if we look at the third skill, this is the refreshing rally. So Ariel's special ability, it's going to cleanse a damage debuff and grant another close to 10% attack buff for 30 seconds to all adjacent allies. So this is where Ariel can also pump up the allies that are around her. But again, depending on your team, there may not be a lot around you. You may have support characters, but if you do have characters like tanks and things like that that are right there with you in the battle, they're also going to get those buffs. So as you can see here, we're at level 12 of 100 and that's because we've unlocked a few four star, five star aerials. We've been getting those signets from doing her milestones. We're able to put those back in. So those can be very important when you're really focusing in on a character and making sure that you can get those levels and you can get those increases with the skills, the damage and everything that they're going to need in order to make it further into the game. So from the abilities, we're going to move over to the talents. And the talents here, this is where we really get to customize our character. So there's many different talents that you can select on each character, but you're going to have three slots in how you can use them. So building your character in a specific way is going to be important to understand how you're going to use the character as well as the team that you're going to put around the character. Now, I do believe there are some best in class talents when it comes to these character builds. And I'm going to give a big shout out here to Easy because Easy's put up a list of great talents to use for a lot of these different characters some builds and things like that on how to use them and i've started kind of running off of there and then making some tweaks myself based on my play style but it's definitely a great starting point so big shout out to easy and if you guys want to check that out it's over on the official discord on the content creators and i believe it's pinned if you want to find that talent guide so we're going to start out with C's Might. So C's Might, this is going to be doing a attack buff straight from the beginning, pretty self-explanatory. And again, with her wanting all the attack, all the damage she can get, this is a great first talent to use. And you're going to get that right from the start with her. 
Now the next one here is Plegic Force. Now I love Plegic Force because every time she gets a damage buff, we're gonna increase that damage buff even more. So this is where you can start to kind of get out of control with Ariel and make her do a lot of damage with really focusing your team around giving those attack buffs, whether it's through the cleanses or using that swipe and being able to really stack up all those buffs and have all those buffs do even more damage. And for the third talent, this is the one I've kind of made a little bit of a shift myself while I've been playing on stream. Some people suggested this and I really do like this skill. So we use Cleansing Current. So Cleansing Current is really going to help get those cleanses happening a lot more with her core ability like we read before over on the abilities. And so that's going to increase our stacks. So I've really enjoyed having this skill on there, but I think it's really going to come down to the different battles that you're in because you may be in some battles where the fractured guardians aren't putting debuffs on you. And this one may not matter as much, but I still enjoy using it. Now, referring back to the guide, the guide had restoring ripples as your third talent. And honestly, I think all of the guardians, that last skill that you get when they hit level 30, which this is one of them, is a great skill. My hesitation around this is the percentage of the heals are very low. So I could really see this talent being great once we get a bunch of levels into it. But starting out the 0.25% heal it's probably not good enough, but I also use a healer, which we'll be talking about in teams. So if you didn't have a healer, it would be pretty good to use, but it's going to depend on the teams. It's going to depend on the level that you're putting in there. And for now, that attack bonus is what I'm looking for with my teams. So now we've gone through the talents. Let's actually get into some gameplay. All right, so we're going to get into some gameplay with Ariel. Let me just pop out of here real quick. We'll go over to, um, let's see, maybe maybe one of our dailies or something like that. All right, so let's hit up one of our dailies. Let's just go into the, the melee emotes. That way we can level up our area a little bit more. All right, so let's uh, let's go into this next one here. See what we can do. Now, we are definitely outnumbered here uh, by uh, almost 2,000 power. But we're going to take in the team that I really like to use, which is Jack, Ariel, and Maui, and really get in there to do that. So we're going to continue anyways. Just to let them know think we may have it if we don't we don't but we'll see so as we jump in here Maui's gonna be the one that's gonna jump right out front trying to take as much damage as he can while we just kind of sit in the back around him poking in there to do a lot of damage really focusing and watching with those attacks coming down so when it comes to gameplay you really need to be aware of those purple marks there because that's where the attacks are gonna happen so we're gonna start off by getting Maui out there, getting us up some defense and some shields with Jack going ahead and doing those buffs and debuffs. So, so far, so good. We've got the heals going on the whole team here. Ariel's starting to get those stacks up. We're up to three stacks and we're gonna do our big swipe there, knocking down the enemy as Maui gets his, his ultimate ready and Jack doing his buffs and debuffs and a little bit of heal there. So we can really start to get the damage stacking up from all the different characters. All right, so we are just sitting in here doing all our damage. We're going to wait on that swipe there. We'll go ahead and get Maui's ultimate going on. Getting some more defense. Jack putting the debuffs and buffs out there. Adding the heals as well. So we're just healing back up moving into the third part so now the third part this is going to be a little bit harder we've got hercules as the fractured enemy here we'll have to take down that boss so that's where we really want to focus with this game plan ariel again doing the big damage making sure we're doing the swipes you want to watch for when herc and them are doing their big attacks and hit those swipes while we can so again doing those interrupting herc's attack right there with maui Another big, another big swipe here. All right, so we're doing pretty good here. Getting a lot of damage down on the field, doing all of our attack stacks. You can see at this point, we've got 12 attack stacks. So doing a lot more damage because of the way this team works and taking them down, taking them down. So you can see the team itself, really, really great team, which we're gonna talk about teams in a second, but you can see even with 2000 underneath, as long as you have that correct team 
the, using the correct abilities by you know avoiding those attacks knocking the characters down stunning them things like that that's what's really going to help with aerial and really controlling the battlefield even from a melee position all right so let's go back into our guardians let's pop aerial back up on screen all right, so now that we've seen a little gameplay, I wanna really look at some teams and you can see the team I was using and some of the other choices that you could use. So moving over from gameplay and over to teams, I'm gonna kind of break this up to try to help you understand the way you wanna build your team around Ariel. So first, let's look at what you want on your team. So like we said earlier in the class, Ariel is melee. So when it comes to melee, you're wanting to make sure that she has survivability. So you have your two slots and realistically, one of those slots, you want some type of healer. So I would say for the primary slot, you want to get a really, really great support character with that secondary slot really being another character that can help you survive and last longer in the battle. Now, if that's what we're looking for, we really either want a tank or we want another support, another healer on the team. So when I break these down, we're going to be looking kind of at the main and the different supports there. So for these character guides, what I want to try to do is give you a couple different team builds. I want to kind of give you a best team, a better, and then a good. And this information, when we talk about best, is coming from the community. So some of these teams I'm able to use and really get in there and experiment with, but I'm also really reaching out to the community, listening to all these beta players that are playing for, you know, at least two years at this point to try to figure out what are these best in class teams and how to use them. When it comes to better, because this game is very difficult to farm a very specific character outside of famed crystals or something like that, I want to make sure that I'm giving everybody options. So we're going to be looking at the better and some of these characters still may be hard to get. That's why I'm also have one more category in good. And so realistically, if you mix and match these characters, you're probably going to get a pretty good team and be able to further you with this particular guardian being your main one. So again, this is what we're looking at with Ariel and who really works well around Ariel. So let's start with best. And so I believe hands down, this is one of the best teams in Mirrorverse. Ariel leading it with melee, but then having Jack as your big support behind you. Now, Jack is going to really work well with Ariel because he's dishing out debuffs. He's dishing out buffs. He's doing heals. He's kind of doing everything you want him to do, along with some damage and pretty good damage from a support role. With my secondary guardian, I'm going to really focus in on that tank. I believe where Ariel shines is having a tank who can also take the damage so that everybody isn't focusing on her because being melee does make her a little squishy, especially at lower levels. But as you level her up, she's pretty Pretty, pretty good and she can survive a long time now the reason why i picked maui is maui can really help by giving defense up to everybody on the team and realistically with this team i've defeated levels that are probably 2000 plus power above where i'm at and i'm still clearing it as three star with this team and so that's another reason why i think this is probably one of the best teams in the game so from there we're going to go to best and again, this is where we start to look at the different characters you can kind of sub in. So maybe you don't have Jack or maybe you don't have Maui. These are different characters that can plug into those uh, spots. And remember, on that secondary spot, this could be a tank or it could be a support. So if you don't have any of the tanks we're looking at, or maybe you only have the good tank, but you have a better support character, you may want to try using two supports. For a while there, I was using Jack and Mickey, and it was doing just as well as with Maui, but there is a little bit of a difference in play style when you're doing that compared to having a tank as your secondary. So when we're looking at the better, Mickey. Mickey is one of those characters that you're gonna see, and I'm hoping the 999 deal continues through when Global Launch happens, because that deal for a four-star Mickey is practically the best deal in the game. And Mickey itself is one of the characters that's one of the strongest characters in the game, even at support. So Mickey, hands down, the best heals is going to help you in dungeons and really get through a bunch of different areas. But he also has an AoE stun that helps when you're wanting to control all the enemies on the field. Next, I have Tiana. So Tiana is one of those characters that I was really using towards the beginning until we got Jack. And Tiana was pretty good. She can do the same thing. She can do heals. She can do stuns. She's kind of like a mini Mickey. So if you have Mickey, Mickey's better, but Tiana is a very good close second. And again, if you don't have Jack and Mickey, which they are a little bit harder to farm and hard to get, Tiana makes a really, really good character in that slot. Now for tank on the other side, we've got Oogie Boogie. So there are some other tanks and I do want to give a caveat here. There's characters like Mr. Incredible, which from what I've heard in the community is one of the best tanks. Well, he's not really available unless you did that one particular event, which I missed it. So 
So I'm not able to really test with Mr. Incredible yet, but Oogie really does work around the same as Maui. And I've seen a lot of people doing the same thing that I'm doing with Maui and being able to clear levels that they don't meet the requirements to, but can still get it three star because of Oogie and Jack or Oogie and Mickey uh, as their combo team. So Oogie's definitely a great secondary tank if you don't have Maui for your team. So lastly, we're gonna look at good. So good is one of those characters where maybe you don't have any of these other ones. Maybe they're only one star or two star and you're not really ready to use them yet you can use the good characters. And Bell is also one of those really, really great healer characters from the beginning of the game. Now, since the game's been out, we've definitely had a lot more characters come in like Jack and Mickey that are really just better healers than Bell. But she does play that role if you're trying just to create a team and go through and these are the only characters that you have, especially in those early weeks of the game or early weeks of global launch. And as far as tanks, Sully is another one of those really, really good tank characters in here. And so that would be another one that I would use as my secondary tank if you want to go kind of the healer and tank route with your aerial. So I hope this helps with your teams. I hope you can now start to experiment a little bit to figure out how you want to use these different characters. And remember, you can always switch around. So if Ariel's getting weak in the battle and she's getting taking a lot of damage, you can always switch to one of your other characters to try to control that or at least try to keep her a little more safe by taking a character like Mickey or Sully and getting in front of the enemies so that Ariel isn't actually taking as much damage as she was. All right, guys, I hope that character breakdown really helped you. And I look forward to making more of those with each of the characters in Disney's Mirrorverse. Now, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment because every video that you comment on is going to enter you into a chance to win one of these awesome Jack Sparrow Mirrorverse action figures. Once we hit a thousand subs, I'm going to be giving those two away to some lucky subscribers. And hopefully that's you. If you like this content, you can check out that video right there, which will be additional Mirrorverse 101 stuff where I'm going to be going through different aspects of the game for new players as they start their journey in the Mirrorverse. And as always, guys, you guys take it easy.